från ostron till korv och kaffe. Bonus på allt, överallt. Where he usually calls you from. Yeah, and I don't know how many TVs they have. Like, I've never... I went upstairs once and it was like to their little playroom and I just like looked at it and I was like, that's super cute that your girls have books. And that was like it. And other than that, I have never been in any of those rooms in that upstairs. Like to me, it was just like, you don't know, like ever. I had no, so I don't know if he has any other TVs. I'm assuming by like how much other nice stuff they have in their house, it wouldn't surprise me. So I'm not quite sure what room he was in at that point. Um, but I just remember hearing the TV and I was like, It was just weird to me because I was like, why are you watching TV right now? It is like super late. And that was the only and thing. And he had phoned you or were you guys already talking when the TV was going? Or just I just remember like I like picked up on it like later, but I don't think it was like throughout the whole conversation. Okay. Like I just remember it being towards the end because I remember thinking like, wow, it's really late. The... the um Something I didn't ask you about the house because you've been there twice and it just uh, made me remember. Do you remember how you guys accessed the house? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so, once through the garage and I think once through the front door. I think huh. the first time was through the front door, I think. And I think the second time was through the garage. Was there anything unique about either of the doors that went through the house? Might not be typical of another house. Like a unique door. You not know, the they door have a itself. camera on their door. Okay, I there's, mean, I there's know a that. camera on the which door? I, it's on the front door, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I'm asking. I you. think so. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, Was but, did he use a key to access the house? No. Um, he did not. The first time I went over there, he just let me in. And then the second time, did we go through the garage? I don't remember. I've been through his garage before. <coughs> I went through his front door once, though, because I remember he had just cleaned. It was the first time I went through his front door because he had just cleaned his carpets and he had moved all the furniture out of the way. And the furniture was kind of in the way of the door. And he's like, the door doesn't open all the way right now. I'll move all the furniture back when the carpet dries. So I do remember that just kind of offhandedly. Uh, and the second time, I want to say we went through his garage because I remember his garage. I remember, yeah, yeah. So he so. was at the house when you went there. Um, you were never there by yourself? He was at, yeah, Or no. he took you there? He, the first time he was already there okay. and I met up with him and the second time we went there together. So the front door, I asked if he had used a key. He let me in. Okay. So if there's a, um, you know, there's keypads mm -hmm. where you can enter it access code. Do you remember seeing that on his door? I like, I want to say vaguely, but to be honest with you, I don't remember. Like, he let me in that day. That's that so, he so never gave long you, ago. he never gave you the code to access his home? No. Okay. Not at all. Um, you talked about a security system. Uh, there was a uh, camera on the front door. Was that just like a, you know what a ring doorbell is that goes to your phone? I don't even know what it looked like. I only know that it existed either because A, I wasn't paying attention the first time I was over there, but B, because of all the stuff that's going on right now. That's the only reason I know it's in existence. Did you existence. remember seeing any cameras anywhere in the house? No. Okay. Did he ever tell you about the alarm system or give you an access code to no. the alarm system? No, no. I wouldn't have asked for that. I wouldn't have wanted that anyways. Sorry to regress to that. No, you're <laughs> Go okay. Go back to the, the oh. phone call or where you noticed the television in the background of the yep. phone call. Yeah, so I didn't know what room he was in, but I was just like, I just thought it was weird. Because he's always like, before I go to bed and I lay down, he's always like kind of trying to do the same thing. We just talk, it's like a really chill thing until one of us was about to pass out, and then that's like the end of it. Um, but it was strange, because I was like, the TV's on. I don't know, I was thinking, I was like, maybe he's waiting up for her. And then I was like, maybe not. I didn't know. I didn't, it wasn't something that like alerted me, it was just different from his okay. standard operating procedure because he, whether his wife is home or she's gone he's always got kind of like the standard op when he calls me so that's why it was kind of like unique okay. because it doesn't really fluctuate when she's there and when she's not there he's pretty like free reign with what he does 
So anything anything important that you recall during that conversation about the children, about his wife, about what he was doing the next day, what he had planned, anything like that? No. Did he tell you any of that information? I remember he told me he had to go to the field and not to the office on Monday morning. Okay. Did he specifically say where he needed to go on Monday morning? No, I don't ask him for those sites. There's like, Anna darko has got like thousands of sites. If he were to tell me, I wouldn't... Yeah, They're just like random numbers and stuff, right? Well, he told me, he said, I got to go to a site. I got to go um, check out like a valve or something where they think that they had a release. Something like that. Did um, he mention the town or anywhere? No, no. He just told me that that's what he had to go do. Okay. He's like, because, yeah, he was like, I won't see you in the office in the morning. Because I usually, I see him, but I don't actually like talk to him. Like, I will go in the cafeteria, I will put my lunch in the fridge and him and his whole team are sitting in there and I don't talk to any of them. I just walk out. Um, but anyways, yeah, he's like, so I won't see you. I'm going to the field, which is not an uncommon thing for the ops guys to like just go straight to the field. Like it happens. Like typically they go to the office, I would say like three or four days a week, but there are days where him and his other team members are not there or like I'll get in there and some days the, the cafeteria is packed and they're all there. And other days they get in there and there's only like three or four of them. So it didn't cause you any concern that you no. said, I'm going to the field on Monday, I want to see you. That wasn't, no, that's happened before. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't something, I mean, and it's not just him, it's like that whole team. Like, you can just tell when they've got like a lot going on, because I'll walk in and there'll be like two of them, as opposed to like six or seven. Do you know what he did Sunday during the day? Um, I don't even know what I did on Sunday during the day. I am so tired. Let me just think about this. Daniel came over Friday. I hung out with him Saturday. And then Sunday... When did Jim come in? Monday. Huh? Jim got here Monday. What did I do on Sunday? I am like drawing a blank. I'm really tired. I don't know. Can I get back to you on that? <laughs> did you guys have any conversations on Saturday night during your meal? what he might be doing on Sunday. I'm sure we did. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank because I haven't slept. If I say that his, he may have uh, done something with his children, would that refer oh, to yes. your memory? Oh, yes. He went to a birthday party. Okay. Um, did you know whose house he was going to? Nope, but I know that they had a water balloon fight. <laughs> okay. He, he had one or his children? His children did. Okay. He said he used to get really into it. He said he got like really interactive with his kids. He's like, some of the adults don't really spend a lot of time playing with the kids. But we I went to do. the museum on what day? Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. Okay. That's right. So yes. I, this one was like, was I hanging out with you? God. Uh, Very so memorable event, huh? We, was, uh, me and him and my, my stepmother my and my sister and, yeah. went to uh, the museum. And the that's museum. right. Uh, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And they went to brunch prior to that, and I skipped brunch, um, and I went to the gym. You shouldn't have, it was good. I had to do Corday. That was the last <laughs> time I worked out, actually. Um, That's so what we did, did Sunday, okay. Yeah, so Corday, and then we, we went to the museum, and then... Um, when did you, did he tell you about the water balloon fight on Sunday evening during your conversation on the phone? I think so. So you so. don't know whose house he went to on Sunday, no. um, but you knew it was for a child's birthday? Yeah, and he had told me about that in advance, really, so I don't know if it was Saturday that he had told me that he was going to go that birthday, or like Friday. I just remember he was like, I got to go to this birthday party. Okay. Um, any other conversation that makes sense? I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm really tired, so I know there are certain things that I need to tell you guys that we'll get to as these days progress. Yep. Um, but, in all honesty, if it doesn't stand out to me now, it probably wasn't relevant. What about that 9 o'clock thing you were telling me on Monday? Oh, that he told me? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're still on Sunday. So, we're on Sunday. We're going to get there. This is going to be a long We're going to get there to Monday. We're, we're getting there. <sighs> so, Sunday night, or Sunday during the day, you had your own personal um, stuff going on mm. with your family. Mm -hmm. You never see him on Sunday, is that accurate? No, I didn't see him. What did I do the rest of the day? I came home. I think I might have just chilled at my house. I don't remember. I think I cleaned my house. I don't know. I didn't see him, though. Okay. And yeah, Saturday was the last time I saw him. Okay. 
Sunday, you're at home, you talk to him from, we know we, you have a conversation mm -hmm. in the late evening hours, and then you, you go to sleep mm -hmm. um, on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. When's the next time you talk with Chris? Probably Monday morning. Do you know what? Time. No, I mean, so we used to like randomly text each other like throughout the day, but we both get really busy. So some days like I don't hear a lot from him and some days I don't text him until like two o'clock in the afternoon because I'm just like busy. And I, I remember I didn't hear a lot from him that day, uh, which was like, that's not out of the normal for either one of us um, during the day. Um, but at one point, I do remember he like texted me and he's like, oh, it's been a really busy day. And then like said some other stuff, which I'm sure you will find.